Creation is the result of the state of nothing being unstable. The unstable nothing results in the Big Bang explosion. And the Big Bang explosion results in the creation of all of the energy in the universe. And we find that when we look at the energy content of the universe, that half of it is mass energy, and there's another half that's gravitational energy, the energy that creates the galaxies, creates the stars, creates the planets. And we find that when we add the total energy of the universe, that the mass energy balances the gravitational energy, and the gravitational energy is negative. And when you add up all the energy of the universe, we find that it's zero. And it all sums to zero. So how does the mass energy, this negative gravitational energy, actually get created? Let's explore how gravity is created. Let's do a simple mental experiment. Let's say that we have an elevator. And we have an, a second elevator that's identical. And let's say that there's a person in this elevator. And that there's a person in this elevator. Now, let's say that this elevator is sitting on the Earth's surface. So here we have the Earth's surface and a huge elevator drawn extra large. And so this is the Earth. And we have a, a gravitational attraction of, of 1G. And this person, this feels the normal gravity. If he throws a ball up in the air, it falls to the ground. Now this second elevator, let's say it's out in space, that we are accelerating this elevator. We're pulling it like on a rope in space, and we're accelerating it at 1g, same as the Earth's gravitational field. And the person in this elevator can't really tell the difference. He can't tell if he's being accelerated in space or if he's sitting on the Earth's surface with a 1g that the Earth exerts, assuming he doesn't have any windows. And he'll find himself, he'll be pushed to the floor of the elevator, and this person will be pushed to the floor of the elevator. They're virtually equivalent. And Einstein used this equivalence to develop his general theory of relativity, that acceleration creates gravity. So this person throws a ball up in the air, sees it falls to the floor. This person throws a ball up in the air, it falls to the floor. If we have, a, say, a pinhole, and we let some light in this pinhole, the acceleration causes the light to curve. If we do the same experiment on the Earth, if we have a little pinhole, we let some light come in, we find it also curves the same way. That, that can actually be measured. So we find that gravity is created by acceleration. Now, if that's the case, how is the positive energy of the universe created? How is the mass energy created. Let's consider that. Let's, let's imagine the Big Bang explosion. Let's say that this is the outer edge of the explosion. That Everything here is expanding very rapidly. And let's put our elevator man at the edge of the Big Bang. So we have this. And so now this, this surface is expanding or accelerating very rapidly. And this person, if they can survive, they'll be pushed to the floor. So they all experience the gravity. But how is the mass of the universe created? Well, there's an effect of quantum mechanics called the Unruh effect. And it says that in extreme accelerations that 
a sea of a sea of particles is created. So this person, through the Unruh effect, would experience it, would be bathed in a sea of particles, of hot, very hot particles. In fact, the Unruh effect says that as the acceleration approaches infinity, that the temperature of these particles approaches infinity. So we see that our person in the elevator riding on the edge of the Big Bang explosions would feel gravity and through the Unruh effect would, would have mass. So we see that an unstable universe of nothing results in a Big Bang. This Big Bang creates enormous extreme accelerations that create the mass and the gravitational energy in the universe.